Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store, simply called Lady Pirate. Now, what I like about this, and especially at the moment, are these kind of, not necessarily low poly um, assets, but assets that could be used for something, you know, kind of cutish looking, but also quite good for mobile gaming as well. And this is one of them that caught my eye. So the overall quality of this is not too bad. It comes with a demo scene, which I do like. The first thing I did notice was the fact that in the main image of this, it is depicted as being blue, uh, but the one we get is red. However, if you take a look at some of the images, you can see that, yeah, you, they are different colors. So keep in mind that this is through customization. So yes, the overall quality is not too bad. Uh, because you have to remember, you know, some of these assets are free. People put a lot of time and effort into some of these assets. And it just takes, you know, someone... They could easily charge for them if they wanted to. Um, but yeah, the simple thing is, it does actually come with those extra little uh, textures right there. So, for example, if we go to the pirate herself and we apply the blue one, there we go, she's now a blue pirate. So... This comes down to qual uh, quantity, sorry, and extras, because you could theoretically consider some of these to be extras. They are decent enough. Uh, you could actually make them yourself, just take it into Photoshop and change it. Uh, but the fact it comes with them is actually quite nice. I like that. Uh, yeah, quantity, you get the pirate, and I think it's good enough. It looks good enough. Um, let's apply the silver one, see how that looks. That's kind of cool. So yeah. You could mess around with them. You can have multiple different types. I guess if you're making some kind of battle game and you want like loads of the same ones or something because they're having a battle, blue pirates against red pirates, then yeah, that's really easy to replicate here. So the versatility of it is almost endless because you can mess around with the material, apply these different textures. I mean, if we res uh, resort, resort, revert her actual material back to standard, you can see what happens there. Um, let's apply some post-processing just to see what we get. So yeah, you can mess around like that. Let's have a look in the game view. So the camera isn't exactly pointed in the right place. So let's quickly move that around and let's take a look at her animations because it does come with some animations, luckily enough. Uh, let's bring the camera to here, bring it down and let's rotate. Let's have a rotation back at zero and bring the camera. Sorry about this, guys. I should have actually done this before we even started the review. Uh, so let's bring it to here and zoom in on that. Okay. So now let's press play and have a quick look at what she does. Hopefully the animations... Oh, they don't. They do. There we go. So it's nicely animated. Looks pretty decent. So you can easily see how this can be used in many different types of games. That's good. <laughs> She's disappeared. Is that her animation that's done that? Yeah, it is. Okay, so maybe you could count the animations as some extras, although it does say on here that she does have 18 animations and the five colors. So like I say, going back to extras, you could maybe count them, but you get what you see in the actual asset page itself. Price is free at the time of recording this. Remember, prices can fluctuate. Size is 3.8 megabytes. And I think that is a fantastic size for what you get here. Uh, the actual image that comes with maybe a little bit not... Uh, I'm going to use the term false representation, but that's not really the right term to use because there are some low poly trees and a ground in the background. You don't get that here. But to be fair, it doesn't say you do. So I wouldn't worry about that at all. We only get the Lady Pirate as it states. 3.8 meg, fantastic size, I think. So you could customize this. You could even make your own versions of it, do what you need to do with it, play around with it. You could take different parts of the texture, mess around with it. You got your prefab, you got your mesh material, the demo scene and the controller for the animations. So yes, great folder layout, nice and neat. Usefulness is going to be endless, I would think, although depending on what you're trying to make. If you're going for a AAA style game, then obviously this isn't really for you. Uh, if you're just prototyping, then Give this a go, it's worth it. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't recommend them. And I would recommend this, but I wouldn't recommend it for everybody. Again, going back to the AAA thing, if you're going for 
huge realistic quality, then yeah, this probably isn't for you. But if you're new to Unity and just want to play around with an asset to try and see what to do, this is perfect for you. This is absolutely perfect. It is well made for its design. I can say the way it's designed is very specific and its design is really nice. I do like it. So yes, I would absolutely recommend this. Just play around with it, see what you can do. You could even change the skin green if you wanted to. Maybe create a bit of a monster. Who knows? But again, that's down to how you want your game to be. So guys, have you used this asset yourself? If you have, let me know in the comments what you think of it. And if you've got an asset on the Unity Asset Store yourself, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to check it out. Don't forget, click subscribe, click that bell icon, and you can stay up to date with everything to do with video game development on my channel. Guys, thank you very much for watching.